Hello and welcome back to Amazon Web Services Demystified featuring Compute Services. I'm your host, Alston Godbolt, and today we are going to talk a little bit about Docker. So first things first, what is Docker? Um, according to Docker's website, it is the world's leading software containerization platform. Uh, the next question, next logical question would be, what is containerization? Um, containerization is packaged software into standard standardized units for development, shipment, and deployment. Um, Docker is a technology that allows you to build, run, test, and deploy distributed applications that are based on Linux containers. So basically what all of that means um, is as a developer, I work at work, I work primarily with Windows systems. Um, at home, I work with Mac or Linux systems. Um, at times, there can be issues working with two different um, operating systems. And to alleviate that issue, um, there are services like Docker that containerize um, your services so that you can work on the same um, software regardless of the operating system that you're working on. Um, it is very helpful if you are working in a team um, and the team have, the, the team members have um, array of different services or operating systems that they use. Um, and so that's the gist of, of what Docker is. Um, if you are interested in uh, more information with Docker, um, I have provided the, the website. Um, I'll also provide it in the resources page. Um, I do not want to spend a lot of time talking about Docker because Docker itself is outside the scope of this course. Um, but we will use Docker as a way of showing off what um, ECS is. So what we are going to do next is we are actually going to create a Docker image on AWS. Um, and to do that, we will need to launch an EC2 instance. Uh, we'll need to SSH into that instance, um, then create a Docker image. Um, I do wanna let you know that similar to manually creating an EC2 instance, um, there will be heavy heavy use of the command line. Um, so if you are not familiar with the command line um, or you maybe don't have it installed, you may want to pause the video and uh, take the necessary steps to um, prepare yourself for completing the um, this section of the course. So before we begin, as I've mentioned a few other times, you want to make sure that you're either logged in as the root user or a user that has full access to EC2. Um, if you are a user and not the root user, uh, to make sure that you have all of the necessary um, permissions for this entire course, the easiest thing to do is just to have someone give you the administrator access. Or at the very least at this point, um, you wanna make sure that you have access to an EC2 instance. You should have already have access if you um, completed the EC2 section of the course, you should have access already, but if you skip down to um, the section, you will need to be granted EC2 access. So let's get started. All right, as you can see, I am back here at the uh, aws.amazon uh, main console page. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is navigate to EC2, which can again be found under the compute instances. So I'm just going to click here. And before we launch an instance, I do want to make sure that we are um, in the region in which we've already created a .pem file. For me, it's the central, the Canada central region. Um, you may have elected to launch that instance and security group in a different region, but you want to go to whichever region it was uh, that you already have a key pair. The reason for that is we won't have to create another key pair. We can use one that we've already created and that will save us a few minutes. So let's go ahead and launch an instance. We'll click launch instance. And then again, we're going to click the defaults similar to what we did under EC2. We're just going to select the Amazon Linux AMI here at the top. We are going to select T2 micro. So we'll click next there um, and then VPC default, subnet, you can select either one. Um, we wanna make sure that we have a public IP address enabled uh, and leave everything else under default. Next, we can add storage. 
Uh, the default storage should be fine for this um, tutorial. And then we can add a tag that says, just say type, and then Docker EC2, which is already selected for me. So we will now click next under security group. Now you want to make sure that your security group has at the very least uh, port 22 open. Um, I'm going to select an existing security group that we have already created. Uh, let's go to new SCG. Yep, we have 80, 80, 22, 43, and 43. So this is perfect. This is exactly what we want. Um, you will, may have significantly less security groups already set up, but you want to make sure you choose a security group that has these ports. If they don't, you can always obviously add them. So let's click review and launch. Um, everything looks good. You will see that error that it's open to the world, but we are not going to keep this open long enough for um, there to be any issues. So we're going to click launch. Uh, we are going to choose an existing key pair. Uh, my is new SSH. Um, so I am going to click I acknowledge and then click launch. Now it will take a few minutes for that EC2 instance to be created. I am just going to pause the video until that is up and running. All right, so now that we are back up and running uh, and the EC2 instance is um, running successfully, we are going to navigate to wherever that PEM file is located so that we can SSH into our EC2 instance. So mine's in the downloads file, downloads folder, um, and then the folder name is SSH1. Let's see. CD SSH1. There we go. And now we are simply going to enter in the command SSH ec2 dash user at symbol and then this is where we grabbed our public IP address we'll paste that in there dash I and then we'll use the key pair name which is this name right here so I'll copy that we will paste that in and then type PEM you should receive this error. We are going to click yes. And that means when you see the EC2 Amazon Linux AMI, that means you have successfully done it, uh, logged into the EC2 instance. The next thing we are going to do is we need to, uh, we need to update our machine. And so to do that, we are going to do type in sudo yum yum. Uh, update dash y uh, the dash y basically allows us to skip a step if we don't type that dash y it'll uh, ask us to hit is this okay and we'll press yes right once that's done the next step is to install docker And this installation is actually going to be the uh, community edition of Docker. Uh, you could obviously install Docker on your machine locally, but this is being installed um, on an EC2 instance. So as soon as this is done, uh, that will be our next step. Now that we have uh, Docker installed, we are going to start the Docker service. So we'll just type in sudo service. Docker start. All right, and it looks like Docker is up and running. The next step is to add the EC2 user to the Docker group, um, and you do that by typing in the following command sudo sudo uh, user mod. user mod dash 
A dash capital G uh, Docker EC two user. Oops, should be EC two dash user. All right, and then we just want to verify that everything worked correctly by typing in Docker info. Get permission denied while trying to connect to the Docker daemon. Um, so what we need to do now is we need to reboot our instance. And once we reboot the instance, it should work. So reboot a uh, EC2 instance. You go back over to the EC2 instance. Check the box that you want to reboot. Click Actions instant state and then reboot it'll ask you if you want to reboot click yes and then it will log you out of the ec2 instance right, let's see if we can log back into the ec2 instance All right, so we're back into the EC2 instance. I'm going to type in Docker info. And it looks like we are up and running. Um, the Docker info basically just gives you an overview or metadata of um, Docker information, the number of containers we have running, um, pause, stop, started images, um, server version, and so on. All right, so now that we have looked at the Docker metadata, the next step is to create a Docker image um, for a simple Hello World web application. Uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to create a, a file called Docker file. And to do that, you are going to enter in the following command, touch Docker file. And then we are going to hit ls to make sure it's there and obviously there it is just clear the screen real quick all right so now that we have um now that we have created that docker file we are going to um we're going to enter in some information into that file so if you recall from the ec2 um tutorial in order to edit that image we're going to type in nano uh, docker file and then let's see if we can paste some information so this is the information that we uh, need to have I will include it in the uh, resources file uh, for this tutorial um, but we are going to press uh, Control X will ask us if we want to save, hit Y, and then enter. All right, so now that we have that information, we are going to um, build the Docker image. And to do that, you are going to enter in the following command. We are going to type in Docker build dash T, lowercase t, hello dash world space period and then that is uh, it's going to build the docker image so that may take a few minutes I am going to pause the video until it is complete now that the uh, build is complete the next step is to verify that the docker image was installed correctly um, installed and created correctly so we're just going to enter in the following command docker images dash dash filter reference equal sign hello dash world and 
you should see uh, these files and folders that lets you know that you have done it correctly. Uh, the next step is to run the build image. And to do that, we are going to enter in the following command. Docker run dash p 80 80 if you recall 80 80 is are the ports hello dash oops where right so that should be working All right, so now that we've entered in the Docker run um, port 8080 hello world, we are going to go back to our EC2 instance console, click copy to clipboard, and then open up a new web page and enter in our public IP address, and you should get hello world. Um, if you do see this, that means you have created a Docker image and you've started the Docker service um, and you've run everything correctly. So congratulations. Um, that is, believe it or not, that's it. You are now a, a Docker specialist. <laughs> you can possibly add that to your resume. All right, so now that we have uh, the web page up, and the Docker service started and downloaded. Uh, we have the EC2 instance created. Uh, we've done all, basically all of the background work needed for the ECS service. Um, the next lecture, we are going to take a look at the ECS dashboard. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.